Hi, Janine. Just wanted to uh, make a quick video to show you how to remove some of your recordings from VoiceThread per our conversation a few minutes ago. What you'll want to do is, if you just go to VoiceThread.com, that's where I'm at right now. I am logged in, so you may or may not have to log in. You can see over here in the right corner it shows my email address as logged in. So if yours doesn't show logged in, what you'll want to do is, of course, log in. Because once you're logged in, you can see these three tabs here, Browse, Create, and My Voice. Create is what you used before when you made your messages or when you were testing it out, learning how to work it. So Create is where you make new ones. My Voice is where your messages are stored. So that's where you'll want to click. Just right on My Voice. Take a couple seconds to load here. Actually, we're going a, a little slow in our neighborhood. I think the snow slowed down our connection. And what you'll see is messages or voice thread presentations that were either created by you or shared with you. Likely these ones over to the right you'll have. They're made by voice thread and they're just kind of how-tos. The ones on the left will be yours. You can see I have a few. So what I'll do is um, on this one, this very first one, I'll delete it to show you how to delete it. What you want to do is just go onto the menu. Easy enough, it'll pop up the set of buttons click delete. It'll say, are you sure you want to delete it? If you delete it, it's gone forever. And of course, you have some that you've just been messing around with to get to your your actual introduction. So you can delete some and you just want to keep the one that you're going to post. And you're going to need to have space for one more. So luckily you can make three. You're going to need a second one for your final project that you'll be working on later in the class. So just hit delete on that and it'll be gone. If you want to make sure it went away, you can click up here where it shows your email address. Click My Account. And it'll say VoiceThread Stats and Limits. Mine says two out of three here, so that means it's good. If it were all three there, it would be red. It'd say three out of three upgrade your account. So as long as you say one or two there, you're okay, and you have space to make another one. Again, what you want to do is just go to create when you're ready to make your new one and follow the video that I put together and is already on Blackboard. So that's where we're at right now. Once you're done, let's say, because you're going to create another one, so I'm going to just quickly just put one together, um, something that I was working on at work, um, just upload that in there. I'm not going to put the comments. The comments is the part where you would actually do your voiceover. So you would go to number two, you would click comment down here, click record, add your voice over it. Once you're done, if you go down to share, there's going to be this get a link, which is where you're going to get the link. Before you hit share though, just make sure you go to publishing options, put allow anyone to view, allow anyone to comment, Hit save on that. Then just click get a link. And now you can see these are checked. I guess you didn't have to go to publishing options. I, That's redundant. So you could just click get a link. And it'll allow you to check these boxes right here. Just click copy the link. It'll be on your clipboard. What you'll do is just go into Blackboard, of course. Create a message. And hit paste. You can see it has the link to VoiceThread right here. So that's basically what you're going to want to do. Of course, first go back, delete a message, to go in, create your new message, get it all set and ready to go, and then go to share. Once you do the get a link, it'll allow you to actually click to allow anyone to view it. Let me know uh, if you have any problems, and uh, I can uh, help you out from here. hope this helps.